13th floor. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, That's so bad, I'm not gonna be scared. 13th floor. Oh, it's recording. Okay. Yeah, it's recording. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> San Antonio. Did I get the orange to say what it's like? I just want you for the night. I know. We still have to go around. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a guy coming. There's a guy coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like waiting for that dude. Oh, okay. Oh man. Seven twenty-seven. Pretty long line. It might be a little bit. We're next. What's your take on it, man? That shit was definitely scary. Oh, you're. Once you're in there, you're in there, man. So what would you guys think of it? That was pretty good. Yeah? Better than half the tournament again. <laughs> I was scared. Uh, scared. Never again. <laughs> Monica, how'd you like it? Hey! It was pretty good. It was long as f***. It was long as What'd you think about it? <laughs> Better than the House of Torment or not? Yes. What do you think? I'm kind of torn in between. About the 13th floor. Yeah, so I'm going to be talking about the 13th floor and how it compares to the House of Torment. And which I would prefer. The beginning of the 13th floor had a lot of jump scares. There were only two theme mazes that they did not stick with the theming. Each room it was something different. I, I didn't see the theme. There was like zombies, and then there was a ship, and then there was a hospital room, and there was a tomb, and it just it was just all over the place. At the beginning of the maze, yeah, there was a lot of jump scares. They got me several times, but when it got toward the middle, the middle toward the end, it was almost like a walkthrough. There wasn't a lot of scare actors from the middle to the end. It's a really long haunted house, don't get me wrong. And it was kind of stale. While we were walking through, and I got to that point where it's like, wow, when is this gonna be over? Because there's no scare actors, and I was just walking joyfully. How does the 13th floor compare to the House of Torment? The House of Torment, they had three different houses. They all really stuck with their theming. You were able to take a breather after each house. You were able to finish the maze, go out to the next line, and you could go in when you're ready. But the 13th floor, it was one straight shot at the, both the houses. You don't get to step outside. The House of Torment seems like it was somehow just more organized. The 13th floor, too, too many people kept on running into each other. There was a really long line in between us, the groups up uh, up ahead, and we saw what scares were coming up. But the House of Torment, they had a really good cycle. They tried to put a gap in between each group so that when a group enters a room, then they would go for the scare. And it seems like they focus on trying to get a scare in every room that you go into compared to the 13th floor. The 13th floor seemed a little bit more sloppy. 
Totally recommend House of Torment. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids.